Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about a copy event and how to detect that with Google Tag Manager and then fire an event into Google Analytics when somebody tries to copy something from your site. Now as always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and I got a little extra for you on the gtmtraining.com slash guide you'll find our gtm resource guide where are listed all the people you should follow and read and where to find more help with Google Tag Manager because there's really a nice community surrounding this tool and I've gathered over the past month a lot of different links that I've put together in the Sandy Guide. So if you want to download this, head over to gtmtraining.com guide. Now let's get into today's topic which is detecting a copy event on a website so you can transfer whatever has been copied over to your marketing tools such as Google Analytics. And it all starts here with a recently published blog post by Daniel Carlboom. You can find it at dcarlboom.com and he writes about how he implemented a custom listener functionality with the help of custom HTML tags in Google Tag Manager and then configured his tag so it can pick up the different values that get fired into the data layer and then pass them on to a Google Analytics event tag. And this is what we want to do today. So all we need to do to actually get this functionality on our page is copy the complete custom HTML tag that he posted down here. So let's copy this, head over to Google Tag Manager, open up a new tag name this appropriately. This is going to be a custom listener for the copy event and we are going to deploy this on all pages. And We'll go here with no tag template but the custom HTML tag and post in here the piece of code that Daniel put together and what it essentially does is it deploys a listener on the event copy and then pushes something into the data layer which we later can pick up. And if you want to find out more about it, you can refer back to the blog post of Daniel Kabu. Now once we have done this, we'll go over to continue here and fire this tag on all pages. So we'll choose the all pages trigger. Let's create this and go into our preview and debug mode. Now we have here an error. Let's see what the error is. Ah, something wasn't correctly copied from the page. How ironic. Okay, let's go on with continue and save this tag again. Try to get into the preview and debug mode again. All right, and now we can head over to our demo page here where we have Google Tag Manager installed and see what is being fired. We have here a custom listener, copy all pages. That's what we just built. And now this functionality should be available to us on our page. Now let's try this out by selecting something here and going on the copy event. And we see here we have a new event in the data layer, the text copied. And let's inspect the data layer here. The event text copied has been transferred. And there are actually more values sent in this data layer. So we have the clipboard text, which is the text that we just copied, and the clipboard length. Now, how would we get those into our Google Analytics tag? Well, the best way to do this is, of course, variables and specifically the data layer variables. So let's set them up. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager into our variable menu and create a new variable. Now we will name this variable exactly the same as the data layer key which is the clipboard text. And we'll choose of course the data layer variable here. And we can text that we have implemented here, whoops, now I cut this, let's implement this here, into the data layer 
variable as well. That should do it. Let's create this variable. Refresh our preview and debug mode and refresh our page. Now let's go through the exercise again, maybe with another link. Copy this. There's a new event in the data layer. The clipboard text is the recent comments, but now we also have this available in variables under clipboard text, recent comments. So now we can use this variable in our tag to pass on the information, for example, to Google Analytics. So let's do this right now. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager and open up a new tag. Now let's name this tag appropriately. And we'll fire a Google Analytics tag, which will have the tag type event to when somebody copies something. And we have a tag template here available for Google Analytics. We have the Universal Analytics running on our page and we have the tracking ID already stored in a variable. Now the track type is event. And I'll just hard copy here as a category, the copy event. Then the action will be our actual copy text. So we'll go with our variable, the clipboard text and as a label, I will implement the page path which will give us back the page path and that way we'll know where this text was actually copied from our page. All right, this is all set up. Now we can continue and just need to choose a firing trigger. Now the built-in triggers here are not very useful we want to actually fire our tag upon a data layer event. So let's click on more here and define a new trigger. And once we go back to our demo shop here, we see that our tag should fire on the text copied event. That's the event that's also specified in the data layer. And all we need to do is specify this as a custom event in our trigger. We also need to name this trigger. Let's call this exactly the same as we have here as an event. And we don't need to add any more filters since this is a unique event which only happens upon the copy event in the browser. Let's save this trigger and create a tag. I'll refresh our preview and debug mode and reload our page. Now let's copy something again. Let's copy this. And we have a text copied event again. And upon that, our GA event fires. And once we look into this and look actually into the configurations, we see that the event category was copy as specified. The event action was the actual text that I've copied. And this happened all on the page path slash, which is the home page. All right, to spin this to the end, you would do a little bit of a quality control here. You'll go over to Google Analytics into the real-time reporting and under events, you would see that you have just fired a, an event which has the event category copy, the event action, and the event label as you specified it. So this is all working fine. Now, if we wanna spin this to the end, we would obviously publish this as a version to all our users out there so we can see what they copy on our page. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you want to find out more about Google Tag Manager, I can only recommend to you the GTM resource guide, which you can pick up at gtmtraining.com guide. And we also have a course running on Google Tag Manager right now on the page where you can find out more about these different listeners that you can deploy through a custom HTML tag. So not only can you listen for example for copy, but for example also for scroll events, hover events and so on. And this is something we explore more in the course and go more in depth 
how you can track any kind of event is happening in the browser and transfer that to Google Tag Manager. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, but now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.